instructions that you learn throughout organic and I think it, it's a good idea to put them all together so you can remember it better by comparison so that's what I'm here to do the first one that we're gonna talk about All right, so the first one we're going to talk about is alkene HBr. This is going to be a carbocation mechanism. So you would add your bromine to the most substituted side so you can get the stable carbocation. So this is Markovnikov. Then we have Br2 and water where you add one bromine and one OH. So you add bromine and OH, where OH, in terms of OH, the reaction is Markovnikov. Third one is again bromination. Now you would add two bromines on both sides of your alkene. This is um, anti. You would add both of them to anti. So you got to know that. Then we have HBr and peroxide, where you add anti Markovnikov. So this is the difference between first and fourth. You add HBr, the reaction is with HBr. But when you add HBr in peroxide, it's going to be a different mechanism. It's a radical mechanism. And you add your bromine to the least substituted side. So this is anti-Markovnikov and Markovnikov. The so last two, where you still start with alkene, if you add NBS with light, where you have alkenes, you add your bromine to the allylic position keeping the alkene. So this is the allylic position. That's where you're going to add your bromine. So you keep the uh, alkene and you add the bromine. So you can have two functional groups. So you can do m more than one thing to that molecule that you just made. So this is a very important one for synthesis. And the last one starts with alkane and it's br 2 n light where you add your bromine to the more substituted side. The reason that I have these reactions on the board at the same time, you learn them in different chapters, obviously, but it's a good idea to combine all of them, all of the bromination reaction, because you're going to have to pick and choose what reaction you're going to use for your synthesis, because um, you're going to have a different product for each of them, and they have their own characteristic. Sometimes you want two bromines to make the alkyne. Sometimes you want um, one bromine and one alcohol. Sometimes you want um, just one bromine, but getting there two different ways. One bromine, more substituted side, where you either start with alkane or alkyne, or alkene or alkane. And this is the important one, where you keep two functional groups and this one where you add it to the anti Markovnikov side. You need to make this for any carbon-carbon addition because that's the kind of alkyl halide that you add on to your alkynes. So all of them have their own characteristic, own reaction that you can do after this. So it's very important to differentiate them. So make sure you know this all and know their mechanism, know their stereochemistry and regiochemistry. Right, I hope this helps. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Resource Center.